So Brian here from wantlabs.net. If you have not seen my previous WordPress to set up with Bitnami, I want to show you, I've never done this before. I'm going to do an attempt to load in the, the AM charts plugin that I've talked about in another video. We'll see how that goes and maybe try to get a sample uh, 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 AM charts uh, chart of something with some kind of data from somewhere and see what happens. So let's try it out. So we've already know how to set up everything in our local host 8080 WordPress blog, go to the WP admin and we're all ready to go. So essentially what our little, uh, our little uh, WordPress blog locally looks like this. Like nothing to it, no template, nothing, right? So what we want to do is we want to throw in or install the WordPress. So if you come to WordPress.org and you come under plugins, what you want to install is this uh, plugin that we talked about before, AM Charts. Let's see what happens here. So this is what we want to install here is the AM Charts. Let's see what happens. Now remember, no programming needed. So if I come back to my admin, come under uh, plugins, add new. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to look for AM charts and see what we come up with. So there she is, there's actually two. This one's right from uh, AM charts themselves. So let's install it, um, activate it. So now we have AM charts activated. So there's gonna be some, we're in here, uh, charts and maps. So this is probably what we're looking for right here. Uh, that's a, a chart map. So let's see what we can come up with. Now, obviously we wanna try out this one stock. Let's see, we got chart maps, okay. Uh, add new. Mm. Let me try the stock map. I, again, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I guess these are the resources needed. So let's let's t call this uh, AM, AM, test AM charts. Uh, select resource. Um, so we are trying the stock. So I don't know what we're gonna, I guess these are the type of charts we want. Mm. Quite a few here, as you can imagine. Uh, maps, we don't care about. I don't know, stock input mask. Uh, stock input mask, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see, uh, we'll find something. Themes, dark. maps oh we have different language version which is good more more maps hmm okay we'll eventually get to it uh, maps still oh. uh, gauges funnels AM stock. Is that what I'm looking for? I guess that's what we're trying. So now we have our HTML. Here's our JavaScript. Default code. Select chart to apply. So we're going to do a, a, a stock, I guess. Depend when you select a chart and click apply the content in resource HTML will be overwritten by the admin. Okay, so are you sure this operation cannot be undone? Okay. So let me just expand this. So this is slug one, stock one, okay. And I guess we publish. So update, okay. So 
use this field to enter a user friendly slug ID for the chart that can be used. So here is our um, short code preview chart or not. Let's see if that, that looks like. Okay, there you go. So obviously there's no data or is there data? First data set, second data set, fourth data set. So you have March. I guess it doesn't like the uh, template here. So let me try, since the day just take it around here. So I'll do 01 dash 01 to, I don't know, four. Let's go zero four. Strange that they don't uh, include a uh, Guess uh, try this. Okay, we can work with that. But uh, so far, I gotta admit, it's not bad. No programming needed. Uh, yeah, let me just. Uh, um, oop, that's the wrong uh, browser. So, I think uh, we need to change around the uh, data. But, you know, considering, I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest, as I said. Um, but, uh, Let's just see what we have under here under uh, AM charts. So, goddamn, let me let me get rid of that. That's that's my 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 uh, my element website there. Okay, so we know this works. So, question is, what do we have here? Test. Charts and maps. Let's see what we got here. So that is a short code. So this is where, so just so you know how um, the WordPress works, come under all posts. Here's our test post that we put in. So what you can do now is I got this wonderful little uh, blah, uh, little posting. So I'm gonna add in the chart here. Just update. Now I can preview it. Let's see what it looks like. Hmm. Oh no, there we go. There's a little chart. Pretty cool. I like it. Um, you get a, a really professional template. I think it will make a a big difference. So. You know, JavaScript. Okay, so there's this logo they speak of. Uh, let's see if I can make it bigger. I don't think I can. Doesn't matter. But uh, um, to be honest, that's pre it's pretty kind of impressive for just out of the gate for a basic stock shirt, but. Um, what I would like to see is different types of charts. So let's try that out. Okay, so we've got our chart map. So we are going to edit it. Select a resource. Now, as far as I know, I think this is where we change around our look. Here's the JavaScript itself. Oh, I see. So all the data that we generate is all random. So we can customize our data sources here. And I guess we can change our uh, chart type in this JavaScript here. So we have type stock. 
Yeah, I need to do some further digging on the research. But here's your basic JavaScript. So here you would have to somehow feed in the data. Um, do a lot of heavy customization. But uh, yeah, um, gotta say, man, that is not too bad considering very little programming to put a few things together. So again, what we learned from this, or at least I do, is uh, the capabilities to basically um, create a, a page or posting as we did here. No programming, just all customizing in the in the database, or sorry, in the uh, WordPress itself. You can generate a, a nice little chart out of box with AM charts. Uh, we can customize. We can take all that out. Take we can cut fully customize all this, no problem. Uh, it's got to learn WordPress itself, but to instantly be able to uh, do this out of box with very little um, effort and have these kind of um, controls. It's not too bad. Um, all it co really comes down to now is data and what you provided and how you navigate the data. So I'll figure it out, but I just thought I'd do that as one of those burning questions, but uh, so far so good with it. And uh, hopefully uh, for those that don't know how to program can be somewhat some remotely, maybe hopefully impressed. Later.